This hacking method allows us to submit values into the database, into the website of your own choice. And yes, hacking is illegal. If you want to do any of these hacking activities, only do it on the websites and the application systems that you own or that you receive consent from a website owner to run all those different hacking techniques on. So right in front of us, I have a website and it states the following. Choose your favorite security tool. And it states the following, right? Your choice to make your vote count. So let's go ahead and select, say, for example, Wireshark, okay? And I have your initials, LLY. Okay, so go ahead and click Submit Vote. And you see right at the bottom, okay, you get the following, Wireshark with one vote. So now the question is, what if we want to go ahead and submit a tool that does not exist in the option, all right? So we don't see that particular hacking tool that your favorite hacking tool is and is not listed here. What if we want to add that on our own? Yes, we can do just that. So what we can do now is go to top right corner, all right? So like on a Foxy Proxy and select under Burp Suite. So Burp Suite is going to be our interceptor for us to inject our own values into the website. So all you can do is go to top left corner, all right? Go ahead and open up terminal. And what you can do now is go ahead and enter Burp Suite. All right, so go ahead and launch that. So our interceptor will help us be able to inject value into the site by tempering. Right, which is modification of the HTTP method into the site. So what we can do now is go ahead and click temporary project, click next, go ahead and start use burp default, start burp, and now we're starting up the project. So once we're here, all right, go under the proxy tab and ensure that intercept is on. So once your intercept is on, you can see right here, right, initial your choice to make your vote count, go ahead and click submit vote, and you see the interjection right here, okay? So right click on this and send it over to repeater, and we can see on the left side, we have the request, Right at the center, we have the response, and on the right side, we have the inspector. So what we can do now is to go ahead, on the very first line, you can see the following. We're using a get method. We're trying to pull information out. So what you want to do instead is use post. Okay, so we're posting into the site by tempering with the parameter. And what we can do now is the choice part, we're going to modify this. We're going to change this to something else. So what we want to change this into, I'm going to change it all right, to hackle loy. And of course, what we're going to do now is go ahead and click send. And you can see the following, okay? HTTP slash 101 200 OK. So now the question is, did we manage to push in our own data into the website? So let's go back onto the website over here, right? Go to the top right corner. And now we're going to turn off, all right, the Foxy proxy. Go under OWSP 2017. All right, I know there's a new release. I know there's a new release. And we're going to cover that in subsequent tutorials. Go under security misconfiguration, meta tempering, and go ahead and click on the poll question. Okay, so here you got it. Right at the bottom, we voted. Two records found. Hacker Loy has one vote for that. So that's it. We managed to inject our own data, our own values into the web application server and then persisted that into the database system. Again, I'm not saying that Hacker Loy is a hacking tool in the sense that he's going to be able to do all these hacking services on your behalf. So do take note of that when I enter Hacker Loy as a hacking tool, it doesn't mean that Hacker Loy is going to be the hacking service that you can subscribe to and then launch your attacks from there because Hacker Loy is a white hat hack. So once again, I hope you learned something valuable in today's tutorial. And like, share, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you can be kept abreast of the latest article hacking tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.